Hey guys, Sam here. So I just got my iPhone 6S Plus. So this is a quick video showing you the differences, uh, basically just kind of your comparison and talking about the differences and similarities of the two iPhones. So you can see to start off the box on the iPhone 6S actually has an image unlike the iPhone 6S, sorry, the unlike the iPhone 6 Plus and the 6, uh, these boxes were just blank. So Apple has definitely brought the picture back as they used to with the iPhone 5S and older generations. So to start up, so I'm just going to show you guys, because there's already so many videos on the internet talking about other things, I'm just going to highlight on the, the differences. So to start up the iPhone 6S Plus uh, versus 6, the iPhone 6S Plus weighs a little bit more. It feels more solid in hand compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm sure the same goes for the iPhone 6 and the 6S. So the 6S and the 6S Plus definitely feel a lot more solid in the hand. The, the, weight, the weight is uh, perfectly, I would say, in my opinion. Um, so I have my glass screen protector that I've transferred over from the older iPhone onto this one until I get a new one. So that's why if you see any kind of like bubbling, that's from that. Um, so let's see. The, the differences here is that the Touch ID has been improved a lot compared to the previous generation. So you'll see that when I do this, you, if you can see that for a user side there, the iPhone 6S Plus and the 6S log in a lot quicker than the older generation. So we could do it again. Literally, like it's it's a lot faster on here. Also, launching applications that goes from anything, um, as you can see, is a lot quicker on this one. But obviously, I'm kind of like trying to do both things at the same time. So maybe not working as fast as I wanted them to. Um, but at the end of the day, it's definitely when you're using the iphone 6s plus you could see the differences the speed is definitely there and all the applications the notes was just one example but the other application is definitely launching a lot faster now we know that the iphone 6 plus does not have 3d touch so if you hold the apps just wiggle compared to here uh, if you press down like force touch on the um, apple watch and also on the uh, macbook when you do the force touch on the iphone 6s plus you get the menu with new applications that support it uh, mo mainly all the native applications currently supported, but there's going to be some other third-party applications that are going to add support for quick menus like such as, you know, reading messages or a quick message. And on the camera application, for example, you can take a selfie rather than opening the app and it'll literally just do everything right on the spot. Uh, what else is there? So we have the Touch ID differences, the weight. Obviously, the camera on the iPhone 6S Plus is a lot better. Uh, we have the... We have a 12 megapixel camera on here compared to the 8 megapixel on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, both of those pluses have the optical image stabilization, so that's a bonus because it helps with uh, image, image stabilization when you're taking pictures. That the image is focused very quickly compared to the iPhone 6 and the 6S. So that's another added on here. Um, so the, the physical differences, so like, so for those of you that are buying the phone and don't know how to tell the difference, they look identical. As you can see, there's absolutely no physical difference when you look at it. Unlike the previous generation where either the band was off or something like that. But this one, the only difference between the two is the the back right here. So as you can see, this the 6S has this S printed out. And it doesn't have the FCC logos and things like that as seen on the iPhone 6 Plus. Uh, what else is there? So as for the cases, now the cases fit both. So this is my case that I have the Ring Key Fusion. Um, I'm sure you've seen, if you haven't seen it, you can see the video. This is the Ring Key Fusion uh, case. I've been using it, did this color quite a bit. I'm finally gonna get rid of it and get a new one. Actually, I do have another one right here. This is by uh, Ulic. Um, this is a similar case, only difference is it does not cover the ports underneath. So these were designed for the iPhone 6 when it was available and they fit perfectly. Um, let me just get this off. They fit perfectly in for, on the iPhone 6S right here. As you can see, it fits very well into both cases that were designed originally for the iPhone 6 Plus. It does feel a tiny little bit tighter in this one because this case was built uh, beginning of iPhone 6 Plus release. So, But the, the case by Ulic fits very well because it was designed just like about a month ago. So this case fits on the iPhone 6S Plus very well. I will be posting a 4K video in uh, or shortly. I just got to go outside and make a 4K video just to show you guys the uh, crisp crispiness of the new camera on the iPhone. So that will be up very soon. 
Um, so otherwise, guys, there's not much differences in the iPhone 6s and the 6 plus. Uh, sorry, the 6s plus and the 6 plus. The names are gonna take quite a bit to get used to because they're just getting longer and longer. Um, but yeah, there are really uh, no differences uh, physically and and speed wise. Obviously, the iPhone 6s plus blows the iPhone 6 plus away. Um, when opening the application, the multitasking and everything because it has two gigs of RAM, uh, three core processor and all the other goodies in here. So definitely uh, good phone. So I would only recommend the iPhone 6s Plus if you take pictures, uh, if you do a lot of application usage. So if you tend to run a lot of applications. Um, maybe you want you want to access uh, or you tend to travel a lot because the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus obviously have a lot more uh, LTE bands that are supported on the, on one device compared to the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. So those are really minor reasons. Um, of course, if you want the rose gold color, there's been people that are buying it just for the color. So if that's one of your other things that you really like, then those would be probably the top three reasons to buy the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus alone. Um, besides that, just minor improvements internally that most people would not notice. Um, I think that's about it guys uh, this is a short review compared to the older compared to when the 6 and the 6 plus came out because that was a major difference this is a minor difference in the generations so thanks for watching my video do uh, check out the 4k video that I'll be posting soon and I will be doing more case reviews and things like that um, coming in the re next few weeks so do tune in to check out that as well so if you guys have purchased the iPhone 6s or the 6s plus let me know in the comments below why you purchased it or why you would want to purchase it I would just like to hear your opinion, to be honest, because um, just to see why you guys are wanting to jump over to that. Unless, of course, you're coming from like 5S, 5 or 4 or 4S. Uh, if you have waited that long, that is, then that's definitely a reason to come over to the new iPhone. So thanks for watching my video. We'll see you next time.